Mina Haragai's gotten off to a good start here. It's for another birdie. Yeah, nice. Great. A USGA champion at the old Pub Links back in 2007. And Mina Haragai has this putt for a birdie. Three under par already today. Off to a flyer of a start with a birdie at one, two, and four. Karen, she's not afraid to go deep either. She she's known for being able to take it low. It's one of the reasons why Pat Hurst picked her to be part of the the Solheim Cup team. The screen slopes pretty severely from left to right, so that TV tower is a very nice line. Nicely done. Here's Mina Haragai to go four under through six. Mina Haragai, four birdies in six holes. This for another one at seven. They should take two from there, wouldn't she? What a start. Good shot. Just getting that extra five or six feet of roll out. Right. Big breaking putt, but a birdie putt nonetheless for Mina Haragai to get within one. This is the hole where Ingrid Lindblad finished her opening round with a 65, a birdie, wrapped it up. Lowest round ever by an amateur. Good week so far for Mina Haragai. This is for a birdie at the ninth to get it to five under and into solo second. Four birdies in the first six holes. And is there another one here? Yes, well done. So Mina, who's been out here a long time. In two for most of the field. It's about 260 over that left bunker. Mina doesn't quite have the length to carry that, so we'll take it quite a bit up the right. Played as a three-shot hole today. Stop, 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 stop. We're going to start to see more and more of that, Terry, this afternoon as the greens firm up. I think we had some softer bounces this morning when I was watching the early coverage. And oh, no. That's pine needles. That's Donald Ross. You know, you just you get penalized if you if you make a poor swing or a poor decision, choosing to go with a little bit more club. I think that's going to stay at least, but didn't carry it nearly as far as she needed to. Maybe we'll see it as the second half of the season plays out. So a long par putt on the way at 10 for Mina Haragai. 13 years on the LPGA Tour, hasn't won yet. Pretty accessible hole location today on the 11th, right in the middle of the green. Erasing that mistake on the 10th, putting that out of her mind and continuing to, to fire. Mm. That part of the hole just kept going. Yeah, and that's where you can see being above the hole. No problem. And but she's been plodding along nicely. The putter has been a little bit of a struggle, but not out here today. Now, six birdies in her round. That's the most of any player in the afternoon wave. Very impressive. Something just slightly left of this whole location with her draw, the ideal. She's just plodding along nicely, not making, she made a little bit of a mistake at 10. Not much in this putt, as we've seen. Just relatively straight up the hill. Couldn't putt from a better location. And another player gets it to six under par here on the opening day. Only seven birdies here today. It's a lot of trouble. Difficult green, but Mina making easy work of this tee shot. 
not needing to watch it very long. Yeah, pick up the T, walk away. Don't worry about it. Going with the hybrid. Without too much spin, let it release on up to the hole. Kind of like that. Yeah, great shot. Very well done. This would be a big par on a tough hole. Tug that a little bit. That was not her smoothest stroke. A little bit quick. I mean, it's life-changing for just about anybody who would win this championship. Exactly. But for a player like Mina Haragai, it would just... It's real. This one should suit her eye. Fairway sloping significantly right to left. Just up the right center with her draw. 12 for 12. Nice place to play from. Fairway. Smooth and clip with the wedge. Oh, and able to generate some yep. spin. Chance to share once again. Yep. Back to six under atop the leaderboard. She's really rolling it beautifully. She missed that one putt there on 14. Left edge of the TV tower there behind the green. Looks like right where this is headed, too. Ah, she must have missed it just yeah. enough. Yeah, the greens are just over 6,000 square feet. Yeah, just chipping right up the fall line here. Did she make it? She did! Come on now! <laughs> I mean, what a shot. What a round of golf Mina is putting together today. What a show she's putting on here. And it was about perfect in practice yesterday, uh, around about this time, late in the day. Quite catch it, she says. Oh, she got away with that, Tom. Got a very fortunate bounce off the edge of the native area. Sounded like good contact heading at the left center of the green. Oh, just needed a bit more trundle. It's going to leave her a long birdie putt. That was Helen Alfredson back in 94. Par 71 here, so this would be to get to eight under. Speed looks really good here, Tom. Uh, that is spectacular. Dialed in. It Beautiful works. Roll. Yeah, just kind of switched it up there from practice to uh, regulation and then made another change just before she pulled the trigger. Right in the center of the screen. Just give yourself one more look. He just right, Take turning off. over on a good line. May need to get up. Yeah. Helen Alfredson back in 1994. Here we go. Helen Alfredson, who won the Women's Senior Open yep. here a few years ago. Yeah. Two rounds, 65 or better, back in 99. But that's what you expect from a U.S. Open, is it to be a tough test of golf. I don't know. What that... a spectacular round of golf, Mina Haragai. I just amazing. I don't know that any other players in this field saw that coming today. Wow. 64. Just the sixth 64 in U.S. Women's Open history.